بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دا نیم اف اللہ دا موسٹ مینیفیسنٹ اینڈ دا موسٹ مرسیفل السلام علیکم سٹوڈنٹس ویلکم پاکستان انٹرنیشنل سکول طائف ورچول لرننگ سسٹم ہوپ یو آل آر فائن ٹوڈے دس لیکچر از فور گریڈ سیکنڈ ایئر بوائز اینڈ گرلز پاکستان اسٹڈیز اینڈ ٹوڈے وی ول First of all, discuss the exercise of chapter 6. Chapter 6 we have done in detail according to your reduced syllabus. And chapter 6 that was culture of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. We discuss each and every topic. And then we will start uh, chapter 7. And this is your 24th lecture. Chapter 6 we have done culture of Islamic Republic of Pakistan, meaning and significance of culture. culture heritage of pakistan main sites common characteristics of pakistan culture we pakistani by pakistani we have done in detail today we will discuss the exercise of chapter 6 first of all fill in the blanks major part of the research done on the indus valley civilization was rendered by arnold toynbee answer is written you can see here arnold toynbee second impact of the dash civilization extend up to balochistan indus number 3 people of the indus valley have a close affinity with the people of middle east number 4 the muslim entered scene as conqueror in the year 712 ad and the last blank bir mount is also an important city of the gandhara civilization question number 2 mcqs Historic city of Texra lies at the distance of about dash kilometer from Islamabad 16 Harappa is situated in the district of dash Sahiwal number 3 dash percent people of Pakistan are muslim in your book the options are given 80 70 and 97 so if these options in your paper in your book it is written 96% population we discuss this in the common characteristics of the pakistani culture more than 96% of the people in pakistan are muslims if in the options are given 97 or 80 or 70 you will circle 97 if the option is given 96 you will circle 96 here it is given 80 70 or 97 so you will write 97% in some book it is given 97 in some books it is 96 both are correct so here you will write 97% people of pakistan are muslims the british women were for the first time enfranchised in the year 1918 dash is the oldest association working for the rights of women in pakistan apwa all Pakistan Women Association APWA means All Pakistan Women Association APWA Next uh, match the column true false you will do yourself and match the column Arnold Tynbe study of history Arnold Tynbe study of history Ibn Khaldun Tarikh ul Ibr Bir Maun Achaminian Aura Sawad Bhambor Bibal Now, short question. During chapter, we have discussed all these short question. Give brief historic background of Pakistan culture. We discuss in detail Pakistan culture, and you will write. First question, short question from this chapter. Give a brief historical background of Pakistan culture. answer is given here and also we have discussed in detail this is the answer give a brief historical background of pakistani culture next short question what do you know about court dg answer is given in the topic of court dg you will write complete answer page number 116 court dg is given you will write answer from there next question what is the significance of harappa in the cultural heritage of pakistan here you will write the significance of harappa 
in the cultural heritage of and this answer question number 3 significance of harappa in the cultural heritage of pakistan answer is given 116 harappa you will write complete what do you know about the ancient city of mansura page number 117 last topic mansura you will write complete mansura also the question can be changed what do you know about the ancient city of bambor sawat bir mount texla monjadaro it can be like this in short question the next in list salient characteristic feature of the muslims architect this question is not included in your syllabus uh, the um, characteristics or the main characteristics of the muslims architect long question i told you the whole topics which are given in your reduced syllabus can be asked in long question next chapter today we will discuss national integration and prosperity the topics which are included this is chapter 8 students note down this is chapter 8 national integration and prosperity chapter 7 is not included in your syllabus chapter 7 that is not included in your syllabus that was languages of the islamic republic of pakistan is not included in your syllabus so we will start chapter 8 that is included in your syllabus national integration and prosperity the topics which are included in this chapter meaning of national integration and cohesion first topic then problems in the ways to national cohesion and integration in pakistan and the last topic which we will discuss remedial measures me your and our role today we will discuss the first two topics meaning of national integration and cohesion and the problems in the way of national cohesion and integration in pakistan we will discuss today national integration and prosperity what is national in order to understand the meaning of national integration first of all uh, we have to understand or we must first of all have to clear comprehensions of the term like nation and nationality the concept of nationality was first defined in distinct terms by the different muslim historiographers and uh, sociologists one of these ibn khaldun uh, he gave it the name of asabiya what is asabiya it is uh, the simple meaning of asabiya i will tell you Uh, a concept of social solidarity with an emphasis on un unity group um, consciousness and sense of shared purpose and social cohesion and what he said he said that the sentiment of nationhood asabia forms the basis of civil life this is the basis or the uh, main thing of civil life and the rise fall of human groups greatly depends on the sentiment the simple meaning of integration what is the meaning of integration or what is uh, how you will define integration it is uh, national integration is the bond uh, and togetherness between people regardless of their caste creed religion gender it is the feeling of oneness brotherhood social unity under communities and society in a country what we will say it is uh, the feeling of brotherhood social unity and uh, under communities and society in a country last key uh laski how it defined the national integration the laski defined the national integration uh is the person who has defined nationality in clear terms according to him the feeling of nationhood marks of those who share in it from the rest of mankind this is the wording of laski marks of those who share in it form and the rest of mankind simple meaning of uh, national integration i told you and these are the, this is the definition of laski it can be asked in short question define nationality according to laski this implies that if a special group of people develop a feeling that they are one among themselves and the factors that make them one mark them off and separates them from the rest of human 
community this group of people turns into a nationality and taking steps forward the nationality transforms itself into a nation here one example the muslims of india uh, they living thousands of year together and finally they decided they wanted a separate country this was the we can say the feeling of uh, their uh, nation like a nation or and we develop it them into a nation the group of people turns into a nationality and taking a step forward this is a normal curve passing through which unidentifiable group of people slowly gradually developed into a well defined and identifiable group national group member of any group of people are generally different from each other in many respect what kind of respects in many respect at the same time they have certain things in common but for one reason of another they are inclined to forget their differences and strengthen their bonds of unity one thing i also told you in the definition of national integration unity feeling of oneness feeling of brotherhood when it happens a nation is formed reasons that separates the member of a civil society from one another or in other word the point of different they have are called centrifugal forces example is given here in this uh, topic the forces act like the centrifugal pump of a tube well or a fountain the example is given for national integration or unity or feeling of oneness or feeling of brotherhood how it is formed it is given here example of a tube well or a pump these forces uh, act these forces act like the centrifugal pump or tube well or a fountain which separates single stream of water flowing in its hose its numerous part and spread in different direction on the contrary the force that attract different scattered parts toward one center the main center or the main point that is one and create a sense of unity among the people of the or the member of the group are called centripetal uh, forces if you place a magnet bar here the next example is given a magnet bar in the midst of the common pin you will easily understand that is very simple that what is the centripetal works like a nation can survive only one one thing if they will be united and if they will be together and if the centripetal forces working within it and are more powerful than the centrifugal forces working on its member if the binding or cementing forces working together or in its member are more powerful than the disintegrating factors or the centrifugal forces we say national integration is present when the position get centrifugal and the vice versa forces start to overpower or dominate the centripetal forces it is said that the nation has developed tendency to disintegrate and is to bound to disintegrate sooner or later this discussion leads up to the conclusion that in order to achieve the ideal of national integration presence all nations forming factor that is you know race language geographic uh, geography religion etc is not required the only thing which is required the factor that are not common or identical in the people of the group should develop a habit to make themselves willingly voluntarily voluntarily uh, subservient to a common or stronger factor of national integration national unity feeling of brotherhood love now the next topic which we will discuss that is problems of national integration in pakistan what are the obstacles in the way of unity what are the hurdles in the way of and still we are facing these problems Uh, what kind of these problems countries inhabited by heterogeneous diverse variety racials and linguistic groups and divided by natural geographical boundaries mountain rivers it is in all countries these differences and mostly develop centrifugal tendencies among their cultural groups
Pakistan incidentally is placed in a similar position. Also, Pakistan is facing these problems and we should not exaggerate the danger post of these differences on one hand and should not shut our eyes to the possible threat they may cause to our existence. On the other hand, if these tendencies are allowed to grow develop or flourish without restraint in order to form a strong and coherent nation we must be aware of the presence of disintegrating forces and shall prepare ourselves to counter them wisely total elimination of differences in a human society is neither possible nor desirable and in order to make a coherent and integrated Society, we have to create a culture of tolerance, patience, unity, brotherhood, a culture in which people are educated to live amicably, notwithstanding the differences they have. In a democratic society, human differences are not crushed with the brutal state authority, but these are resolved. How it is resolved? Through dialogue, compromise, and mutual understanding. Of course, each and every society and nations, they are having these kind of problems and how it can be solved. It can be solved through negotiation, through dialogue, through compromise and mutual understanding. Now in Pakistan, the major obstacles or hurdles or problems in the way of national integration in Pakistan, these are first, Provisionalism and parochialism, these are the serious problem which we are facing and uh, we must be removed uh, from the society. And what is parochialism? Uh, limited or narrow-minded, narrow outlook, especially focus on area, narrow-mindedness we can say, and we should remove, we should uh, remove it from our society and also Kaldiasm after the creation of Pakistan address the people of Pakistan and he uh, mentioned and he said that what we want is not ta talk about Bengali, Punjabi, Sindhi, Balochi, Pathan and so on. We are nothing but Pakistani. Now it is our duty to act like Pakistani. The next uh, point, linguistic differences and legacy in the implementation of national language Urdu, you know that Urdu is our national language and also Kairi Azam mentioned that, let me make it very clear to you that the state language of Pakistan is going to be Urdu and no other language and uh, Urdu, you know that is the lingua franca, it is spoken and understood by people living in the all areas of Pakistan. Urdu is the symbol of national unity. It is not the language of any special particular region or a specific group of Pakistan it is a common national uh, heritage. It is a common national language. So we should promote our language and uh, it is the language uh, of unity. It united the people of Pakistan. Next, racial and group differences. Also, this is a serious problem and uh, uh, obstacle in the way of national integration. We should remove this uh, racial and group differences and uh, we should act like a Pakistani. Poverty, inequitable distribution of wealth, differences between the living standard of public different areas of the country. Also, it should be uh, solved this problem by the government or by the people of Pakistan. Uh, unequal distribution of the wealth, different differences, uh, the standard life standard, uh, living standard of the people areas of the country. Next, long period of undemocratic rule which create discontentment among the deprived classes of the people. One more thing that Pakistan faced many times, martial law is imposed in our country, you know that undemocratic rule, uh, martial law imposed after the creation of Pakistan many times and which creates discontentment, undemocratic rule among the deprived classes of the people. Autocratic behavior of bureaucracy, especially 
because the bureaucracy is looked at by the people as the representation of some special classes and areas of the country. Uh, bureaucracy, what is bureaucracy? You can see a system of government in which most of the important decisions are taken by state officials rather than elected uh, political representatives. Also, this is a uh, big hurdle uh, in the way of national integration, uh, integration in Pakistan, the role of bureaucracy, feudal system. Next, feudal system. Feudal system is also, we will say, can say a landlord system, a landholder system, in which way is a type of political or social in which landholder provide land to their farmers or the poor people or tenants in exchange for their loyalty and services. Illiteracy, you know that Pakistan is uh, facing this problem, illiteracy. The literacy uh, rate in Pakistan is very low if we compare to the other countries. If the literacy rate will be uh, increased, the, the people will be aware and the people will be conscious and uh, they will be aware. And uh, of course, they will remove all these problems in the way of national integration if the people will be educated and they can think better. Ignorance of religious and moral values. You know that uh, Pakistan is an Islamic state and we uh, achieve this country in the name of religion, Islam, and the name of the country is also Islamic Republic of Pakistan. And the basic teachings of Islam, the basic principles of Islam, you know, tolerance, uh, social justice, equality, uh, patience, these are all the uh, our Islamic principles or moral values of the Islamic society. But unfortunately, we we have ignored all these uh, moral values, all these social values, all these Islamic teaching and principles. If we follow these principles, if we will obey these principles, and if we will implement these Islamic principles or rules in our country, then we can solve these problems which we are having in the way of national integration and cohesion, which are uh, in the way of unity. Next, negative role of the media. You know that media can play a very important role or the positive role in the way uh, of the national integration. But unfortunately, in the role of the media in our country, uh, is not uh, what we will say promoting the national integration most of the press is prejudiced and they are propagating the distorted picture of the reality as they want media should show responsibility they should show love and affection instead of hate they should play a constructive role in providing also education to people to promote national unity to promote national integration and uh, media we can say uh, is the reflection of any country it shows the way of living and behavior of the people of any country the way of expressing news the way of politician talking in talk shows and political debates show the attitude of the people of the country. The media is bound to spread reality and should be careful of its responsibility. So the role of the media should be uh, positive and uh, helpful uh, for the national integration. But you know that our media is playing irresponsible role. And we will say now that it is the duty of the media to play its role and uh, to help uh, uh, to solve all these problems which are in the way of the national integration. War culture, which is root cause of poverty and economic and cultural in, uh, in, uh, instability, hence the mother of the all evils. We should remove all these types of uh, uh, social evils from the society, which are the obstacles or the hurdles in the way of integration. 
students we discuss the problems of national integration in pakistan important long question and we discuss also i explain all these problems which we are facing uh, in the way of national integration if we solve these problems then pakistan will be a uh, prosperous and developed country also we can solve these problems uh, if we follow our religion if we follow the religious teaching uh, or the principles of islam hope you understand today's lecture have a nice day and also revise this topic at home